I want to thank all of you at Kudangalam for your courage, for your tenacity, for your steadfastness. Because I know you don't fight for yourselves alone. You're not fighting only for your lives, your livelihoods, your children. You're fighting for all of us, for thousands of people in India and all over the world. You're fighting for us so that our children can grow up in a world that is in tune with nature, that is just, that is democratic, in a world in which one person's pain is everybody's pain, in a world in which peace and justice and democracy will triumph. I am there with you in spirit and thousands of people all over the world, in Japan, in Australia, in Canada, in the US, in Pakistan, in Bangladesh, all over the world, we're looking at you with pride and with joy and we celebrate your courage. I want to read you a poem from a, a Turkish poet, a revolutionary and a poet who spent a large part of his life in prison uh, called Nazim Hikmat. And this is a poem in which he celebrates life. It's called On Life, On Living. And I'm just going to read a very small part of that poem. Living is no laughing matter. You must live with great seriousness, like a squirrel, for example. I mean, without looking for something beyond and above living. I mean, living must be your whole occupation. Living is no laughing matter. You must take it seriously. I mean, you must take living so seriously that even at 70, for example, you'll plant olive trees. And not for your children either, but because although you fear death, you don't believe it. Because living, I mean, weighs heavier. Let's say we're in prison and close to 50. And we have 18 more years, say, before the iron doors will open. We'll still live with the outside, with its people and animals, struggle and wind. I mean, with the outside beyond the walls. I mean, however and wherever we are, we must live as if we will never die. Salam, salam, salam to all of you in Kilab Zindabad.